But the most fundamental difference is the power balance. It isn't at the level of ideas. It's not at the level of the influence of some brilliant economists like Keynes. It's not even at the level necessarily of the attitudes of business, which go through phases of greater and lesser degrees of enlightenment. It's really fundamentally about the question of who has power in society and what made the 1930s and 40s transformational is the balance of power had shifted. Organized labor had voice, it had leverage, and situations like total war gave it even more leverage. It's not the war per se, it's not the fact that there's a big challenge or a notable enemy that creates the conditions for more egalitarian politics. It's that that happens at a time when there's a countervailing force that can say to prevailing elites, well, if you want us to be part of the bargain, then we would like these conditions.